I would like to express my sincere thanks to the EAG President Derek Vance, the Hartman's Award Committee, and to Fred and Hugh for their wonderful citations. No person is an island, and I am no exception, even if I was born on one. I was lucky enough to grow have grown up in a friendly and stimulating environment, both in a personal and professional context. The story I read at a young age in my father's encyclopedia of the growth of a volcano, Paricutin, essentially overnight in a farmer's field in Mexico, would become a metaphor for my own scientific journey. Indeed, I think a fascination with nature is an essential ingredient for any aspiring scientist. The adage, imagination is more important than knowledge, rings true. Piecing fragments of information together to paint a coherent picture of our world is the true value of our work. Of course, that picture is imperfect, but through it, we can play a part in promoting scientific thinking and share our small contributions so that, together, they may enrich the cultural heritage of those around us. My scientific mentors, John Foden, Galen Halverson, Hugh O'Neill, Oliver Niebel, Frederick Monnier, and Max Schmidt, as well as many others who have time constraints will not allow me to mention, share this outlook. One becomes familiar with the terms such as basalt and isotope in secondary school, but the opportunity to study them in both in detail was afforded me as an undergraduate by John and Galen at the University of Adelaide. The, method, the modern method of scientific inquiry I learned from them, along with the measurement of iron isotopes. In 2009, and notwithstanding sharing a birthday and a mutual appreciation of olivine, I was first drawn to Hugh at a conference in Kangaroo Island, South Australia, while he was holding court on the merits of trace element ratios in magmas. Thankfully, he took me on as a PhD student two years later, and since then we've prevailed against all odds to send hundreds of kilograms of prototypes to Australia from a post office in, in a quaint northern Italian town, seen off the Corsican McKee, and even managed to publish a couple of papers. His boyish enthusiasm and broad understanding of scientific principles, together with his ability to strip them down to bare bones and examine them, are qualities that I strive to emulate. Likewise, Oliver has been a constant source of motivation, ever positive in pushing me in my work, as well as footballing abilities, and championing the value of being bold and imaginative in science. The seed of living in Europe that was planted during annual trips there over the course of my PhD grew in earnest, thanks to Fred, with whom I share a keen interest in non-traditional stable isotopes and obscure 1990s football references, and not necessarily in that order. He showed faith in me, and in moving to France, I acquired from him a fresh perspective on how science was being done overseas. The quality and dynamism at which research progresses was eye-opening, and Fred was, and is, at the forefront combining isotope geochemistry with meteorites to answer burning questions on the formation of our solar system. This new field provided a springboard for me to work, firsthand, on the Apollo lunar samples, among others. And science aside, while living in Paris, it is difficult not to be enraptured by the cultural diversity of Europe, and I was constantly looking for opportunities to explore the old world, whilst at the same time broadening my scientific horizons. Luckily, I found the perfect place in Zurich from which to do so, thanks to an F &F Ambizione Fellowship, the Italian language being evidently synonymous with scientific excellence. At ETH, uh, Max has been a gracious mentor. He welcomed me openly into his group, at which I've quickly felt at home and a valued member of the team. Max not only possesses a famously sharp Austrian wit, but also ex exceptional originality and scientific clarity. His legacy at ETH is testimony to this. I have been fortunate enough to interact with and learn from some wonderful people. The journey, the journey has undoubtedly been as satisfying as the results, if not more so. I hope that some will be able to take encouragement from my story, others solace, and yet others pleasure, in knowing that if I can do it, then anyone can. Grazie.